Hi, I'm here with Neelam. And I'm here with Wendy. Yeah. And what did we meet? When were we first meet? Uh, was it your first job? Yeah, Burberry was my first job. We were doing looks for the show. Like oh, a, right, yeah, she was a looks model. And look where she I, is I now. I did the hair and makeup test for the show. I'd booked the exclusive before the show, so I had to do the hair and makeup test. So we met a few days before the show, when you did the look on me. Yeah. And remember, Neil cut my hair. My hair was, like, down past oh, really? my head. Yeah. I don't even remember yeah, that. Yeah. That's I terrible. The no? first thing you said to me was, he's going to have to cut your hair. And I was like, <laughs> what? I was so scared. And then I remember my brows were like this thick. And you were like, yeah, I'm going to uh, tweeze those. <laughs> yeah. But they looked really good after. Do, what did you think? Did you think, oh my God, they're stripping me of everything? No, I, was, I wasn't scared about the makeup of the eyebrows. I was scared about my hair. Yeah. Because my hair, oh my God. We cut it in that day when you did the makeup and then Neil did the hair. And then he just literally cut it, like a dry cut of my hair. <laughs> but it must have been super long. And normally... It was, it yeah. was. It I was mean, when you're, where, when you're a model, it's great to have long hair. But if it's too long, no one can do anything Mine with it. Mine was to my ass, really. Oh, my God. I mean, she could have sold that. You it was, make money on it that. was my first job, though, so I had no clue. And, yeah, I remember I did the hair makeup test and we did the show a few days after. And was then, that scary for you? Um... It was scary, but I didn't understand the magnitude of it. I just didn't, I didn't understand anything. I didn't understand how big it was. I was just like going along with it. How old was you then? 18. All right. I know. When you stepped out on that runway, what do you think? Do you, you must have realized it was big by then. No, I, do you know what the thing was? I was, I knew I'd got the show like three, two or three months before the show. Cause, cause I think it was Elia asked to see me and I was still living in Coventry and I, is that a shout out? A shout out, <laughs> shout out to Ellie's <laughs> friend. Um, he asked to see me and I was still living in Coventry and they asked to see me like the next day. And I was like, oh, I never get any modeling jobs. Like I was working in Hollister. My train ticket was so expensive. I was like, I'm, I can't make it. And my agency was like, what? You're crazy. And then he called back and he was like, any day she can do next week. Like, could she come in? So I went in. And I met with him first, Elliot, and I remember I had nothing in my book and he's like, can you wait around? Could you wait for Christopher? And I was like, oh, I have castings after this. I I'll mean, have, that's Christopher Bay. I'll have to ask my agency. <laughs> I had no clue. And he's like, do you know who Christopher is? I was like, no. And he's like, you should really like look, look him up. You know, I was like, OK. Google. Went, you know. Yeah, went and sat down. Oh, I had no clue, but I feel like that's why they like me. And they always laugh about it now, but Christopher looked in my book and I just had like a, po po a Polaroid, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> and then he was like, um, I was like, you know, don't worry, I'm taking a gap here, I'm doing some test shoots. Oh, <laughs> I love that, I love that. Because <laughs> normally girls have loads of pictures and lots of different looks, you yeah, know, I had to nothing. get a show. And like, then like, all these girls that were waiting outside to be seen, they were all like talking about how they'd done Prada and impressing him. And I had nothing. And he was yeah. like, where are you from? I was like, Coventry, he's from Halifax. I remember I had these hot pink nails. My, <laughs> my hair was down here, I had makeup on, had this studded t-shirt and studded boots. Like, it was a real hot mess. <laughs> I don't know what they saw in me, but they saw something. And um, I remember he gave me the shoes and he, I walked and I had no clue how to walk. And he's Did like, you just think you just walked like walking down the street? I just was like walking in heels, you know, I tried, right. I just faked, like, yeah, you know how yeah. you would think you do a catwalk? Yeah, okay. yeah. Was I it just, very 80s, like, yeah, standing at like, the end and then spitting? Oh, no, was I was it, just yeah. like trying to be cute. Oh, right, okay. And um, then I don't know how they, they kept said no, not like that. <laughs> no, they didn't. I, I think they could just see I couldn't walk, so oh. they just uh, they stopped me at the end. And Christopher was like, you know, I want you to do the show. And I was like, oh, cool. And, <laughs> but do you know what I thought it was? Because <laughs> I had the casting in, in a horse-free house. Yeah. I thought he meant like an internal uh, show, like an office show. In the show. head office, because that's where the head office yeah, is. Yeah, I thought he meant like an office type show. I was like, cool. And he's like, so, you know, it's in three months time. But I was like, huh, wait, what? Then it put in my head, I was like, so it's in September. He's like, yeah, during fashion week. I was like, wait, let's do fashion week. <laughs> he's like, yeah, there's a show. I was like, and I thought, let me not say too much. <laughs> <laughs> Better cut there. Yeah, I've not, <laughs> done, I've not done anything right now. And he's like, yeah, you know, I want, I want you to walk the show. It's going to be a first show. It's going to be amazing. And I was like, uh. So I left the casting, called my agency. They didn't believe me. They just thought, you know, like, girls get dropped all the time. 
And literally that day, they called and were like, we want her on a worldwide exclusive. And I was like, what? But did you know what a worldwide exclusive was? I knew. I knew, but I still, because it's my first job, I didn't understand like the magnitude. So then when I finally did the show, I was nervous, but I just wanted to do it because my, I was so scared I'd be dropped last minute. I, right. I remember okay. that was my fear. I was, it felt too good to be true. And my yeah. parents had- Like booked, winning the lottery kind of thing. Yeah, know? because my agency was like, you know, they all, brands do this with a lot of girls and they drop them like in the lineup. So, you know- Oh my God, I mean, that's in strict. Yeah. I've never known that to happen. Oh really? I know one girl that did happen. Oh really? To. Not with Burberry, with a different brand, but. Yeah. So they were like, you know, until you've walked on that catwalk, like- Oh my God, it's like stepping on the moon. Yeah, it's a yeah, huge yeah. Step so when I finally did the show, I was nervous, but I was like, yes, I've done I've got to get my foot on that catwalk. <laughs> First look, second look. And, um, yeah, I was, I just wanted to do it, I remember. Did you feel like, here we go? No, do you know, for the show, I didn't really, but I remember after the show, I, cr I cried, and I had these sunglasses oh. on in the finale, the white ones. Yeah. And I remember... I was like, I got teary because it was, we, no one knew. Remember the petals that were falling? Yeah, yeah. And everyone was like, it was very emotional. Yeah. Everyone was feeling it. And I went backstage and hugged Christopher and I was like, <gasps> I was like, oh, I'm so sad this is over. Because to me, I thought that's it. It's like yeah. my one hit one thing, yeah, you know, like yeah. the song. I was like, I've had it now, it's done. <laughs> and he was laughing, I was like, what? And he's like, this is just the start. Like, you don't trust me. It's, and I was like, really? <laughs> and then, then everything came from there. Yeah. But I really didn't understand like how big it was at the time. I didn't know how to walk. I didn't know how to do anything. Yeah, but sometimes it's quite good to be naive. Right? Yeah, no, because I think it worked for me. Yeah, because sometimes when you're older and you're, you know, you understand what's going on, it's actually more scary when you're a bit naive to things. You kind of just jump into it. And I then... think that's why I got on with them too, because everyone else, they'd come with like their lines prepared on how to impress them. And I was just like, yeah, I'm from Coventry. You yeah. were just you. Yeah. You know? And, that, and that's what's appealing, and that's what's appealing about most models that actually do really well. And since then, you've done amazing things. You have a contract with L'Oreal now. I mean, <laughs> that is amazing. And you know, that's what models dream of getting. You know, that's like one of the best things that can ever um, happen to you. I mean, she's on the front cover of Elle, Vogue covers. But I feel like it really was because of Burberry. I'm not just saying it, but it, it's such a big platform. How was you found? Um, I got scouted actually loads of times and I just never took it seriously. <laughs> some people came up to you and yeah. when you scout and someone comes up to you and gives you a card, right? My mum was just like always like this is a scam, this is what they do. Because yeah. I'm from a small place, yeah. you know, and also I didn't grow up looking like I had glasses, I had braces. She's like they just want to take your money and <laughs> they're just it's not a real agency. We didn't really well, you know. Don't really know. You don't we didn't know. know, but we thought we'd heard of all these modeling agency scams, so we yeah. thought it was that. But then I was on holiday and this booker came up to me and was like I'm on holiday, I'm not even approaching you like that, but whatever you do you need to like become a model. She, and I was like, really? No. I mean, I was just explaining for people, a booker is someone that... Um, like an agent. Yeah, an agent that you get like you work and books you, yeah. Yeah. So then I went um, and my first agency I was with, I, they had approached me before and I went for a walk-in and I got like signed on the spot. Right. But I didn't start modelling until I was 18 and I'd completed my exams. Right, okay. So yeah. Was you raring to go before that? And just no, thought, you know what, I'm gonna be a model. I no, don't even need to know. Do you know, know what? Exams. Because I was signed when I was fourteen and then from fourteen to eighteen I didn't model. I did odd jobs, odd yeah. tests, but nothing came of it. I would get castings for like Nivea, like campaign and I wouldn't get it and I'd be so deflated and I, I that's why I said no to Burberry right so I was like oh every casting I've got I've not gotten so yeah I'm so what's the point yeah. yeah and I was like in Burberry why would they want me like come on yeah so <laughs> little did she know yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I want to say that you're the biggest Asian model at the moment uh, those are your words <laughs> I think because I started with Burberry, that put me on a huge platform. And also, I feel like Christopher could, he saw everything happening. I feel like with me, I didn't really know what was going to happen, but he saw how huge it was going to be. And that's why everyone was so excited for me. Yeah. And I feel like him and Elliot knew too that I was the first Indian model for the brand, which is crazy. Yeah. But when I first did the show, I never thought of that because I never felt different to the other girls. That put me in that category because without knowing, I 
was like thrust into like the spotlight because the light was shown that this is the first Asia model and then from that came all these other brands that I was the first for. Yeah. Um, and obviously because Burberry is such a huge brand that I would get asked about it and interviews yeah. and stuff I like feel that. like, you know, but this, this is, you know, it's British. You're British. That, that's why he was surprised you know I mean? from Coventry. He's like, yeah. I can't believe you're Indian, you're from Coventry, like he's from Halifax as well, yeah, so yeah. he's just like, but I, I mean, feel like it was meant to. And, but you know, the UK is so diverse, mm. so you need to represent everybody. Exactly, you know? and that's why I love it, because it, it was not forced at all, we just met, we got on, we had so much in common, I've made such good friends, I met Jordan through Burberry, I met you through Burberry, and I feel like it gave me relationships that last yeah. a long time. And it was a really great introduction because I feel like I was very lucky. A lot of models have to travel and be on their own, which I did, but because I had the exclusive, all I could do was Burberry. So it was great because I became such good friends with you guys. I it's work got with a people all the family, time. Yeah, yeah, I would, even the other day when I went for my fitting for the Burberry party, I hadn't been to Horse Free House in like, a year and a half, two years. Yeah. The receptionist, she was like, oh my God. Like, you know, I know yeah, everyone yeah. there, the security, I know yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's nice. Yeah. And I feel like you don't get that in fashion so much anymore. It's quite comfortable. You it's feel like a family, like, yeah, really yeah, is. Yeah, and you're not intimidated. You always feel no. included. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah, and then it's nice now when I go to other events and I see the girls that like, I did the show Started with. with. Yeah, and it's just nice. So that's how we met. And look how far she's come. And look how far you've come. Superstar! Be beautiful, Wendy Rose. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I'm so proud. When you put the book out, I was so proud. Oh, I thanks. have it in my house. I love you. Yes. It's the best.